That's how you test validation in Laravel. Two tests and they are fast tests. Every time I tell someone how I test validation in Laravel, their reaction is somewhere in the lines of, wait what? This is so much better. I wish I knew it existed. So yeah, here's how I test validation in Laravel. Here we have a bunch of tests asserting that different validation rules are in place when registering a new user. We have name is required, email is required, email must be a valid email, email must be unique, and so on. What we are doing in every test is sending the correct values, except for the field we are testing for. This way we can assert that we receive back a 422 response and we have validation errors for that specific field. And this is how most people I know test validation. Some optimize this further by extracting methods to reduce duplication, but the general idea is to write one test per validation rule. The thing is, just as production code, test code requires maintenance, and the more tests you have, the slower your test suite becomes. The slower your test suite becomes, the less often you'll run it, and the less often you'll be refactoring and improving code. Not only that, but you will also end up avoiding writing more tests, knowing it will slow you down even more. So while writing tests is crucial, having too many of them can also become a problem. Ideally, you want to have as few tests as possible that run as fast as possible while still being confident enough that everything works. These tests take about 300 milliseconds to run. Let's say we have an app where 20 requests require validation. That will lead us to a cost of about 6 seconds of waiting time and 160 tests, assuming each request has about 8 validation rules. That is the price we are paying to be confident that our registration endpoint has proper validation. But there's a cheaper way to do it. It doesn't yield as much confidence as what we are doing now, but is close enough and it's much, much cheaper. I'm talking about a simpler way where we test that our controller action uses the correct form request object and that it validates against the rules we're expecting. And we can do that with the help of this package, Laravel Test Assertions by Jason, the creator of Laravel Shift. This package provides the test assertions we need to drastically cut our costs. Let's install it. I'll grab it from here, run the install command, open the sidebar and create a new test file called registration request test. And I'll rename this and remove everything from here. And the first thing we need to do is to make sure we use the trait provided by the package. So I'll grab it from here. It's additional assertions. So use additional assertions, import it, and start writing my first test that should verify that the controller action uses the correct form request object. And here it is, registration uses the correct form request. And now with the help of this trait, we can say this assert action uses form request, and we need to pass in the controller, which is registration controller, the method name, which is register, and the form request, which is registration request. And now if we run this method, it should pass and it does. So what this does is it tests that the registration controller register action uses the registration request. The next step is to make sure that this request validates against the correct rules. Let's do just that. Registration request has the correct rules. And we can test against that using this assert validation rules. And here we need to pass the array of the validation rules. And we can do so by going to registration request, grab the rules from here, paste them in. And to get them, we can simply do new 
registration request and call the rules method. Run the test. And of course it passes. If we remove one of the rule, it no longer passes. So this way we can prevent accidentally removing one of the rules. Let's do the same thing here. Run the test again, it fails, and so on. Let's see how we are doing cost-wise. It takes about 85 milliseconds to run. But if we look inside the test case, we see that we are loading the entire Laravel application. And we don't need to do that, so let's extend the PHP unit test case instead. So I remove this from here and import the PHP unit framework test case. If we run the test again now, we are down to 11 milliseconds. That's almost 28 times faster than what we have before. And not only that, but instead of having to write a test for each validation rule, we now only have to write two tests, regardless of how many validation rules are in place. Isn't that nice? Now, all of this comes with a price. The first is, well, we need to install an additional package. The second one is that with this approach, we can no longer use inline validation. It only works with form request objects. But for 28 times faster and only two tests to write instead of 10 or more, is a trade-off I'm more than happy to make. That's how I test validation in Laravel. Two tests, and they are fast tests. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell button. Bye!